Hello and welcome to Bite Size Pixels. In this tutorial we will be creating borders, working with padding and margin. So we're just going to open up our Dreamweaver file and for this one I've just created a new blank HTML5 file. So what I'm actually going to start off with is just an article just to use for this um, activity. So we just have our article there just for now. What we also want to do is work on our styling for our page. So just underneath the body tag, we just want to put in style type equals text CSS. And then just make sure you close this one up. Okay, so now what we want to do is just write in here article. And we're just going to give this a width of 500 pixels. And we're going to give it a height of 200 pixels. So if I just write in here, hello, and just have a quick look, you'll see my hello pop up there. What we actually want to do is create a border for this one so we can see how big our box really is. So for this we need three elements. We need to have border width. And I'm just going to put this at three pixels. And we want border color. Just going to choose uh, I'll just go with quite a bold green there, hopefully that looks okay. And also we need border style. And for this one I'm just going to go with groove and just see how that one looks first of all. Yeah, so you can see that I've got my border there and that shows me how wide my article section is. So I'm just going to put the split view on here. If I change the width of this to 1000 pixels, you'll see that it goes quite a lot um, wider. Um, but you can also see that the text that I have put in the box goes directly to the side of the um, page. To stop this from happening, what we need to do is we need to go into our styles again. And um, we're just going to add a bit of um, padding to this one. So first of all, I'm just going to put padding left, so we can hopefully see this um, working. So to put it like that, and we're just going to put 20 pixels first of all, and we'll just see if this works. Yeah, you'll see there that the the text has actually moved 20 pixels away from the left hand side of the actual um, border that we've got there. What you can also do is put in padding top and if I put in 20 pixels again there you'll see that it has moved away from the top of the actual box as well. You can do this to all of your images and text and everything that you're going to be putting into your um, your article section or any other element um, but that's just a basic way of how to create a bit of space in between your boxes. Now to create a margin this is focusing on the outside of the box. So I'm going to put margin left and I'm just going to put in 25 pixels. So you can see there that it's actually moved the actual space to the left hand side of the box. You can do this to the top, to the bottom, to the left and also to the right. Um, so you can use this if you're going to center your page and things like that. So that's just a basic way of how you can add these items into your web page. Um, it's vital in your styling that you incorporate these things. Um, so have a play and see which works best for you. Thank you for watching.